and welcome to my channel Simple Science. In this video, we are going to do chapter 1 matter of class 8 physics. This chapter is divided into three parts. So, there will be three videos on this chapter. For video 2 and 3 or part 2 and 3, you can click on the link provided in the description box or the link will also be provided in the end of the lesson. Or you can click on the i button which is provided on the screen on the top. We see many things around us like we see mountain, lake, sky, buildings, car, sea, beach that means water, sky, trees and many things. What are these things called? These things are nothing but matter. Elements and molecules. Every matter is made up of elements. So element is the simplest form of a pure substance which cannot be divided further into any simpler substance by any chemical or physical method. For example, example of an element. Gold is an element. Silver is an element. Carbon is an element. Helium, oxygen, all these are elements. You cannot divide them further into simpler form. For example, oxygen, element oxygen will remain oxygen only. It cannot become nitrogen or carbon. Helium will remain helium only. It will not become carbon or nitrogen or oxygen. So, it is the simplest form of a pure substance which cannot be divided by any uh, physical or uh, chemical method. Examples of, some examples of elements are gold, silver, iron, oxygen and carbon and many more. There are nearly 118 known elements. Atom. What is atom? Atom is the smallest unit of an element which may or may not have an independent existence but always take part in a chemical reaction. For example, iron is made up of atoms of iron. Gold is made up of atoms of gold. Hydrogen is made up of atoms of hydrogen. Nitrogen gas is made up of atoms of nitrogen. Similarly, carbon is made up of carbon atom. Oxygen is made up of oxygen atom. Chlorine is made up of chlorine atoms. So, every element is made up of atoms of that element. So, atom is the smallest unit of an element which may or may not have independent existence. What do you mean by may or may not have independent existence? Oxygen exists as O2 and uh, helium exists as He, helium atom. But oxygen exists as oxygen atom. That means it has uh, two atoms of oxygen. So, atom can have independent existence, cannot have independent existence, but it takes part in the chemical reaction. Some atoms exist alone like helium, uh, neon, argon. They are called noble gases. Some atoms do not exist alone. They combine with another atom and they exist as a molecule. Now, the next topic is molecule. What is molecule? Molecule is the smallest unit of matter which has independent existence and possess all the physical and chemical properties of the matter. Now, it is the smallest unit of a matter. Now, suppose the matter is hydrogen gas. We are taking a matter like hydrogen gas. We are taking oxygen gas. Or if we take water, we take hydrogen chloride. So, these are some of the matters. They are made up of molecules of that matter. Now, hydrogen is made up of two hydrogen atoms. Oxygen is made up of two atoms of oxygen. Chlorine is made up of two atoms of chlorine. Water is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So, it forms a molecule of water. One molecule of water is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Similarly, hydrogen chloride is made up of one hydrogen atom and one chlorine atom. So, 
atoms combine with each other to form a molecule so it is the smallest unit of matter which has independent existence and it possesses all the properties physical properties and chemical properties of that matter for example example of water now water is made up of h2o molecules now all the h2o molecules we have will have same physical and chemical properties so the smallest unit of matter which has independent existence and possess all the physical and chemical properties of that matter is called a molecule states of matter now matter exists in three states solid liquid and gas now the arrangement of atoms in solid liquid and gas is shown in this diagram in solid the atoms are tightly packed and they have a little space to move and solid have so solids have fixed shape and they do not flow in liquids the in liquids there is a little space between the atoms so atoms are more loosely packed and they have more space to move and liquids can flow hence they don't have fixed shape they don't have fixed shape but they have the fixed volume now if you take 1 liter of water 1 liter of water will remain 1 liter only if, if you change the container if you put it in a bowl or if you put it in a glass or in any other container 1 liter of water will remain 1 liter only but the shape of the container it will take the shape of the container so uh, liquids do not have a fixed shape but they have a fixed volume now talking about the gases now gases in gases the atoms are far away from each other they are free to move they are free to move in all directions so the atoms are far from each other and they move freely gases do not have fixed shape and they do not have fixed volume as well now if you uh, take 1 liter or 1 uh, meter cube of uh, any gas we'll take volume in liters only now if you take 1 liter of any gas and put it in any other container container of 5 liter it will occupy the whole space so the volume will become 5 liter now so it occupies the whole space of the container so it does not have a fixed volume relationship of the movement of particles in three states of matter with energy in them now in solids the particles are or the molecules are tightly packed so molecules are tightly packed their intermolecular force is maximum intermolecular space between them is minimum and molecules are not free to move they just vibrate about their mean position now according to kinetic theory of matter this topic kinetic theory of matter will be covered in part 3 and the link will be provided in the description box according to kinetic theory of matter there exist a, a force of attraction between the molecules which is called intermolecular force and that also depends on intermolecular space between them if space is less force will be more so in solids the space between the molecules is less so force intermolecular force is maximum now they do not have enough space to move so they just vibrate about their mean position when solid is heated the vibrations will increase why because they are gaining heat energy so when they are gaining heat energy they will start moving but they do not have enough space to move they are not free to move so they will just vibrate about their mean position and kinetic energy in them depends on the movement of the molecules now here in this case the movement of the particles will be very less because they are not free to move so energy of movement of particles in solid is least in liquids the molecules have a little space to move so the molecules are less tightly packed and intermolecular force is less than solids but more than gases intermolecular space is more than solids but less than liquids so molecules are free to move but they are free to move within the liquid so when the liquid is heated the molecules will start moving their movement will increase so when their movement will increase their kinetic energy will increase so energy of movement of particles in liquid is more than solid but less than gases why it is more than solids because their movement can be movement is more than movement of particles in solid 
and it is less than energy is less than that of gases because in gases the movement is more faster so their energy is higher than energy of liquids in gas the molecules are far away from each other so molecules are very loosely packed intermolecular force is least intermolecular space is maximum and molecules are free to move in all directions so when we provide heat to gas molecules they randomly they will move in all directions with a greater velocity so their kinetic energy will increase the movement of particles will increase so kinetic energy will increase so energy of movement of particles in gas is highest so energy of movement of particles in solid is less than energy of movement of particles in liquid which is less than energy of movement of particles in gas that means in solids the energy of movement is least and in gas the energy of movement is highest in next part of this chapter we will study about changes of state in matter hope you like the video if you like the video please hit on the like button share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel simple science thank you take care